Hey guys, welcome back to Life on Greenwood. It's a chalk paint video. If you're up for it, then let's go. I'm going to be making some chalk paint, homemade chalk paint out of plaster of Paris. First time ever, but my understanding is this recipe is so, so easy. Um, if you're new here, um, I do thrifting and chalk painting. As a matter of fact, I like to paint a lot of things, not just with chalk paint, but I do like to upcycle thrifted items and I like to use chalk paint a lot. But today I'm going to be trying to make my own chalk paint using plaster of Paris. I used um, some uh, calcium carbonate before to make my own uh, chalk paint before, but this time I'm using plaster of Paris my understanding is it's just as easy as the other way. We're just going to be using some water, plaster of Paris, and some latex paint. All right, this is some uh, Oops paint that I got from Ace, and the color is Sea Star. Really pretty color. It's like a grayish blue teal kind of mixture. But anyway, I have a project coming up that I want to use some chalk paint for, so I'm going to try this out. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need is a quarter cup of water, warm water, a quarter cup of plaster of Paris, and three quarters cup of any kind of latex paint that you want to use. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to play this by ear um, and do this by sight a little bit because uh, I guess it depends on the consistency like that you like your chalk paint in. I like my chalk paint a little thick, but We'll see how this works out. If I need to add a little bit more water, I'll do that. So again, a quarter cup of water, quarter cup of plaster of Paris, and three quarters of a cup of my favorite latex paint. All right, let's get this started off camera and I'll come back on. Okay, so off camera, I poured out a quarter cup of Plaster of Paris, there's my paint, my three quarters of a cup of paint, and um, quarter cup of water. All right, so I'm going to mix the Plaster of Paris with some water. And get that going splash that on me. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, I'm going to mix this up really well. And it looks like milk. Now, <clears throat> I'm using plastic to mix the paint in, but I'm going to, eventually, I'm going to transfer it to this white, um, just a, a spaghetti sauce jar because I want to keep it airtight. So I'm gonna make sure this is mixed up really well. And then I wanna add it to the paint. And mix that in. So this is, um, <clears throat> this is looking good. It's like it lightened it a little bit. I still have some of my plaster of Paris still in here, so I want to make sure I get that because that's what makes it thick and gives it that chalk-like consistency. So I want to make sure I get that in here. And so far it's looking really good. But the test will come when I try it out to see if it's got that chalk-like consistency that you really like. But it does look good. It does look good. All right. I'm going to stir this up a little bit more and then I'm going to try it out on uh, 
a scrap piece of wood. So let's do that. I'm gonna come right back. All right, so let me show you what the consistency is like. Now you guys, if you follow me, you know I like my chalk paint a little thicker than this, but I'm just hoping that it covers well. This recipe I found on, um, on Pinterest. I'll link it somewhere in my description box. But it's my understanding that this gets really hard. The pl uh, plaster of Paris gets really hard. And I think that's one of the things that people, uh, when they compared... Um, the calcium carbonate to the plaster of Paris. Uh, I think I saw a lot more favorable results with the calcium carbonate. Um, some people use baking soda too. I've never seen that. I've never tried that. But let me know if you've used plaster of Paris before or car carbonate with the calcium carbonate. Um, which one is your favorite? Which one did you get better results with? Um, they, again, this looks a little watery to me. I'm going to try it on a piece of scrap wood that I got out of the garage. Let's <clears throat> see how this works. Again, just a, just a piece of wood. Just to see what the coverage is like. I'll find a good side. Oh, this is great. This is great. Look at that. It's going on great. Oh, Suki. Yes, look at that. Woohoo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going on really great. Look, guys. Look at that. That's really great. I think that's great. All right, I think this was a success. It's a little runnier than I'd like it to be, but the coverage is great. Let's see when it dries, if you get that, um, that chalky finish. But I absolutely, I like this. This turned out really well. Is this gonna be my, my um, what do you call it, my thumbnail? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by Life on Greenwood. Again, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And for my returning friends, thank you so, so much for continuing to support my channel. I really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.